YouTube, what's up? It's Smitty. Um, this video is going to be a quick video about CrossFit. Even though I don't do CrossFit, I just want to talk a little bit about it. Um, if you're beginning in the CrossFit world, I want to give you three tips that I've used as a triathlete to help improve my performance. And I'm totally sure they will work for CrossFit as well. Now, if for those of you that don't know me, my name is Smitty. I go by Smitty online. Uh, I trained for 18 months before completing my first Olympic distance triathlon. It's the first Olympic distance I, I attempted, and I completed it in two hours and about 51 minutes or so. And some things I learned along the way I want to share with you, especially if you're into CrossFit or if you do triathlons, right? The first thing is nutrition. Now, I want to be able to say that um, over the many thousands of miles that I've rode on my bike, I've been able to test out certain food combinations that I feel could probably help, right? So I, I deduced that for me, white rice and soft boiled eggs are the best um, for performance, right? And I also want to help lay out the foundation of my concept of nutrition. Like some food is good for performance, some good food is good for uh, recovery from exercise, but they're not always gonna be the same foods, right? So let me break it down for you. Now, I'm not gonna tell you, you should eat white rice and eggs um, before an event, but what I will say is that uh, there are foods that you can eat that can definitely sabotage your performance. And another thing about nutrition, right? So, I typically would eat three to four hours before an event or before practice, right? So if I'm going to ride a bike at sunrise and say sunrise is at 530, I'm going to be up at 130 eating white rice and eggs, right? And some of my rides typically, you know, when I was doing triathlons were one hour, two hour, up to four hour long rides, right? And um, I've tried a lot of foods. And I just ended up with white rice and eggs, and it helps me burn energy more efficiently. And I feel like I'm like I'm on rocket fuel, right? Other foods that I've tried: brown rice, ramen noodles, spaghetti, um, oatmeal. Don't work as good. Uh, frosted flakes, corn flakes, don't work as well, right? On to the next one. Um, I think you want to be good at, at innovating, right? I think. You want to make sure you're a good innovator and understand innovation, right? So in sports, triathletes and crossfitters are probably utilizing the fruits of innovation without even realizing it. So when you get something from one discipline and apply it to another discipline, or even one theory and apply it to a different theory, and you have a hybrid theory, and a hybrid theory ends up being a good combination of both, right? So here's one innovative uh, exercise routine that I implemented to help me run faster, right? So there's this one theory that I learned from a guy who did um, cross country in high school. He says, once you have your base miles in, just train at running a six minute mile pace and do repeats, right? Do 400, mi 400 meter repeats at six minute mile pace. So once you got your base miles in, you do these uh, speed workouts and then in a month you'll, you'll have your six minute mile. And when I started running uh, in the 18 month period, when I started running, I started off running uh, a mile in nine minutes, right? And eventually I ended up running a mile in my first year, I ran a six minute mile. And then my second year I was running 530s, right? And, and the one thing I changed was I was doing speed training and I was running, you know, 400 meter repeats at a six minute mile pace. And I ended up running faster than a six minute mile, right? So, and then, so that's one aspect. And then the other aspect is, if you want to get good at endurance, do bicep curls. And so I would do these standing bicep. I would, I was running, when I first started out, I was running 12 miles on Saturdays, right? And uh, the last 10, 11, 12 mile, they were just ridiculously hard, right? And so my physical trainer at the time told me to do bicep curls and that builds your endurance. And if you can ever, deconstruct this later or even right now in this video you'll see why because um, 
when you're running that long, this is the one move, movement that's repetitive. And when you're running, you're swinging your arms to get uh, momentum to help you maintain your momentum. And this is one of the parts of your body that tires the first, your arms and your shoulders. So by doing bicep curls, you know, you're building these muscles. Uh, and you do them in an endurance rep range over 15. I would you could do 20, 25 or so. Um, and three sets of those on arm day during the week. And basically, um, I, I increase my endurance, right? So those are two innovative things. So I would do speed training and then that would increase my endurance. And then one thing I learned at, after the second year, I realized that you can increase your speed by increasing your endurance. So that second year, I was um, doing the bicep curls and I was riding a bike. Uh, I was increasing my cardiovascular endurance up to four hours. Like I remember once I came back from a, a 80 mile ride and then that was a year. Um, like I lost I think eight pounds in four hours of probably water weight, but that year I ended up running a 530 mile. Um, and so that tells me by increasing your endurance, you can increase your speed. And there's more, you have a more rapid capacity to run faster. Um, there's a lot of other things associated with speed, but um, and innovation, but those are two concepts, right? You want to get, um, you want to get good at uh, being able to break down some of the best parts of a theory and see where their goal where their goal is and being able to apply it to another theory that you're learning and see where that goal is and see how they match up and see if there's a union between the two and the third thing i want to talk about is sleep quantity now um i'll show you this thing on on, on my sleep app from the 26th of august and i typically sleep four and a half hours a night right and i told you at the beginning of this video that i would sleep you know Four hours. I I go to sleep. I would wake up four hours before I have to go ride in the morning, and I eat rice and eggs. And this is probably why I sleep four and a half hours at a time. And and so sleep quantity uh, doesn't really matter. I think sleep quality matters. And so um, there are different things you can do to improve your quality of sleep. And I will say that water plays a big role. Like tap water won't kill you, but it's not going to help the performance, right? Uh, tap water is good, but actually bottled water may be better. And I deduce that there's just one bottle of water that works really well for me, right? And I, there's one that actually helps me get the best quality deep sleep, right? And then I will also say that, you know, look at my sleep quantity. It, you'll see, I'll, I'm going to go through the video here. I got on my, and I'll play the video for you. Um, so I typically, I set four hours, 45 minutes, right? And my, uh, readiness rating, what I get from this app was optimal. And I slept four hours and 25 minutes. Now, how did I do that now? So I have this little thing that I did. So you can, uh, take, there are certain foods you can eat to help you sleep better. There are certain, uh, supplements you can take to help you sleep better. There are certain vitamin, vitamins and minerals you actually need in the recovery. Right, so you recover from exercise. There are vitamins and minerals your body needs, and people typically tell you not to eat before you go to sleep. Um, yeah, I don't know how 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 correct that is. There's a lot of things you can do to optimize your recovery during your sleep. And the whole thing about sleeping eight hours, I won't tell anyone that. Right, you want to sleep eight hours? That's a that's a problem. No, no, no. I, I I will say you want to eat well to sleep well, and and you can also like exercise well sleep well but if you exercise and eat well you're gonna sleep well right if you find that one thing that helps you sleep the best um that's ideal there have been times where i'll sleep six hours in the at night and i will feel terrible and there are times where i sleep four hours in 25 minutes for example i feel amazing and typically when i try to get the extra hour and a half of sleep after i wake up after four and a half hours I'm typically groggy for the whole day, right? If I get up in four and a half hours and do what I gotta do, I feel amazing. These are just three things, in nutrition, in innovation and in fitness, and sleep quality are gonna help boost your performance as a CrossFit athlete. Anyway, 
If you want help reaching your fitness goals or your wellness goals, there's resources on this channel, in this video, in at iHeartGains.com. I'm Smitty. I hope you reach your fitness goals, and I'll talk to you next time.